Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play the Stanley Parable. We have an adventure line to follow. And it's glorious. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Did you notice something? Alright, check this guy out. He's snazzy. He's got a cool modern computer and a cool modern phone. This guy, well, he's cool as well. He doesn't have a computer, uh, the telephone though. This guy, yeah, whoa, this guy is the boss here. Look, he's got an ultra modern computer with a modern phone. This guy, yeah, he's okay. He's got a pretty cool computer. And an old phone. This guy is pretty cool. And this guy... is just sad. <laughs> what the hell? Alright. Let us proceed. Now! Yes! This is exciting! Excellent. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? About Go aliens. Wild. Use your imagination. Aliens! Whatever it might be, Stanley. I'm ready for it. Yes. Alien invasion. Oh, no, not you again. Yeah. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. I agree. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. All right. It's not there. It's not there. I'm not looking at it. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. No. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, uh. means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. No, the other right. Damn it. You've been playing the confusion ending for 16. Oh, hold up, what's this? 16? Hmm. hmm. The confusion hmm. ending? You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according oh, to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this... thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I... I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't... Do it, I won't do it, I won't do it. And the timer Ugh. stopped. Does that mean um did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Oh. So okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? Mm. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Hopefully. Well, in the meantime... Ugh. Bloody hell! That actually scared me. I forgot about that part. Damn it. Oh, it's gone really dark outside. Not in the game, but here outside. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when night arrives. That is a strange phenomena. 
when somebody turns off the light bulbs. Damn it. Bloody light bulbs. The end is loading. Oh, all right. Let's all try this again. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. How did I get to that phone? I forgot. Hmm. When Stanley came to a set of two open what? doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. What? Wow. Yes. <laughs> this room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. <laughs> Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. <laughs> All right, let's see what he'll say next. Unless it's going to be the same thing. Yes, hmm. really, really worth it being here. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Excellent. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nope, I'm gonna stay here. Apparently there's actually a broom closet ending. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. What the hell was that? That shadow is moving. Do you see that? It's it was bizarre. baffling that Stanley oh. was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As <laughs> it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. I'm typing on in the broom closet. Are you... Are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Hmm? You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. <laughs> but it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Right. I would have thought to mention it. But I'm going to stay here. I wonder what this orange thing is. It looks maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom <laughs> closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> I think it's some kind of a pistol. Maybe from glue, maybe Stanley from... Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> that all with drug money. Also, Stanley is <laughs> addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> that was brilliant. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. <laughs> well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming <laughs> so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ah, now last time I've stepped out into the hallway, and I was greeted as the player too. But 
If I understand comments correctly, then there's supposed to be an actual ending here in the broom closet. So we'll just have to stay a bit longer. Now, last time I remember that I was waiting here for like half a minute and nothing happened, so... I don't know, hopefully we're not gonna be waiting here forever. Because that would be horrible. Because it's a broom closet and there's nothing here. Except, well, you know, tools and a broom. That's why it's a broom closet. Oh yes, broom closet. <whistles> Quite a nice drone effect in here. Could probably have a mattress and sleep. Soundly. <clears throat> no, I don't think there's a broom closet. I don't think anything will happen, unfortunately. Oh, well. I wonder why they left you with the crouch option. Well, I'll have to try that out if, if I just crouch and walk through everything like this. No, I don't think there's a broom closet ending. Oh, well. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. <laughs> I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Uh, let's see. If I go back to the broom closet. You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? <laughs> Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> I'll wait a little longer to see if he'll say anything. That's the problem with these things. You want to explore all the options, but you don't know if you're just wasting time by, uh, you know, waiting around, which is probably ironic in itself, because I'm waiting in a bloody broom closet. Oh, well. Come on. Say something, narrator. Please? No? Okay. Let's go out, then. No? No? I got a monkey here. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's gonna take the controls now. Oh, there's nothing left to say. Oh, well. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Right. I wish the executive bathroom. Damn it. It looks as if you can go into some of these, but, but no. There's something behind there. Look, there's a room. How do we get there? Bloody hell, I want to go in there. Let's crouch. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Once again. Shocked. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I'm just gonna wait here for a while. I want to see. Actually, I want to hear that other speech he has here, where he go, where he goes. Oh, for God's sake! And Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, <whistles> trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two eight four five. <laughs> Let's try all the books. 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 Nope. Two eight four five. <laughs> Oh, that's dangerous. Look, you can see the wall back there. It's probably flammable. And a huge room, though. Forgot, but it turns out that the oh. panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. Huh. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. See, I don't know if that's actually intended, so he goes, Oh, for God! Okay, let's just go on with the story. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just let's see. If we do it now. Oh? Whoa! What was that? Oh. 
I thought that would do something. Damn it. Are there any secret buttons here or something? Damn. No, they aren't. No. 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 Bloody hell. Damn it. Oh well. We'll try and use the uh, mind control place now. And turn it on. And we'll see what happens. Loading, 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 loading. We'll do this next time. The mind control machine. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.